Well, uh, blessed people, what a wonderful opportunity to come to you uh, on yet another day, on this day. What a blessed opportunity to come to you, beloved people, on this November 22nd, the year 2018. And it's such a critical time in the history of the church that the Lord brings me before you today. Uh, the Lord Jehovah Yahweh, the Lord Jehovah El Gibor, the mighty God, has spoken with me, the tremendous God of Israel. He spoke with me this past night. And uh, this night, the past night, the Lord Jehovah visited with me and had a tremendous conversation a very mighty, mighty conversation with me regarding the glorious coming of the Messiah. And in that conversation, the Lord Jehovah, He took me to a place above the earth. He lifted me up above the earth and took me to a place above the earth. And then He commanded me to decree the shaking of the heavenly bodies above the earth. And then after I executed the command of God, then a tremendous moment ensued again, lifting me above the earth to a place the Lord God Almighty, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the tremendous and the most fearful, the most awesome and terrible God of Israel, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy One of Israel, the Blessed One of Israel, He that has chosen Jerusalem, He whose voice has already said, Yes, Jerusalem is the center of the earth. He lifted me up this past night, and took me up above the earth and commanded me to shake the heavenly bodies above the earth. And when I did so, when I lifted up my left prophetic hand and shook them as commanded, then a shocking moment, a fearful moment ensued upon the skies above the earth. And then the next thing I realized, the Lord brought me to the earth here. And when I looked up, I saw two moons. Two moons. Two moons coming close to the earth. Two moons. Tremendous times, beloved people. There are two moons that are going to come close to the earth. Even as we prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah. Two moons. Then I saw two moons coming close to the earth. Two moons appeared. Two moons are going to appear above the earth here, beloved people. Two moons. Not one, but two moons. And it's amazing because one moon will be complete, a complete moon, and the other moon is sliced off. It's like half moon or two-thirds moon. One portion is off. So this is a very shocking time, beloved people, in the history of the church. Again, this past night, the Lord Jehovah, he lifted up the prophet that is in the fore, the one he has pushed in the fore, the one you saw him reveal in Lima, Peru, the one that you see promised in the book of Malachi, chapter 4, the one that has authority to command heaven to open and lower the glorious tears and bring down rain. And so he took him to the front, to the fore, and he lifted him up above the earth. And he commanded him, he commanded me to shake the heavenly bodies above the earth. And when I did as commanded by Jehovah Elohim, the tremendous God of Israel, 
the eternal creator of the universe, the Holy One of Israel, the cornerstone of Israel, Jehovah Elion, Jehovah Eli, the Lord my God, Jehovah Chezek, the Lord my strength. When he commanded me to shake the heavenly bodies using the strength of Jehovah Yahweh, then a tremendous shaking takes place. It took place, I've seen it already, above the skies. I see two moons coming close to the earth. These are very shocking times, beloved people. These are awesome times when the Lord Jehovah has come out now without any ambiguity whatsoever to ascertain, to confirm, and to affirm that only the Lord Jehovah is God. And only Christ Jesus is the way to the kingdom of God in heaven. And all the other gods are idols, the Hindu gods, all the other gods, put them together. And in this way, the Lord is demonstrating maximum power and authority of the gospel and of his messengers that are walking the face of the earth. Just two days ago, he brought the one that is in the foreground, moved forward and commanded forth that in Akur, the cloud of God, would come and visit the two prophets of Yahweh that are walking the earth. And now he takes the one that is in the foreground that was revealed in Lima, Peru, and takes him up to shake the heavens. It's a very dreadful time, beloved people. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 21, I'm reading 25 to 27 on. He says, There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. The earth, nations on the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. People will faint from terror, from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Verse 27, he says, At that time, they will see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with great power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads, because your redemption is drawn nigh, is drawing near. Hallelujah. The Messiah is coming. I have seen the coming of the Messiah, beloved people. Prepare the way the nations of the earth. Prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. Turn away from sexual sin. Turn away from sexual lust. Turn away from this gospel of prosperity that throws holiness, the holiness of the Lord, out through the window. Turn away from this gospel of here and now, the gospel of prosperity that throws out through the window the righteousness of the Lord. Let us return now to the gospel of the cross, the gospel of the cross of Jesus at Calvary, the gospel of the blood of Jesus, the one and only true gospel that Jesus gave the church. He gave that gospel to us. He gave us the glorious gospel of the old, dirty, rugged cross. The gospel with power for deliverance. The gospel that can lower the glorious chairs of heaven into the sky. The gospel that can shake the entire universe by colliding the two neutron stars. The gospel that can resurrect the dead, resurrect Lazarus, resurrect Mamarosa, resurrect all the people that are there dead under the earth asleep on the day of rapture. Those that are there, down there, lying there, asleep there, waiting for that day, waiting for that morning. The gospel of power, beloved people. The gospel of the blood of Jesus, that is the power of the gospel. Please turn away from sin, beloved people. Turn away from lies, false prophets, false apostles. The Lord has now come out so openly and revealed to you, his messenger on the earth. The two prophets that are now roaming the earth 
and preparing the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah, raising cripples, opening blind eyes, touching the sick, decreeing righteousness, holiness, the return to righteousness, return to the Lord. The purification and the perfecting of the saints. Time is over, beloved people. This is he about whom it was written in scripture in the book of Malachi. And that scripture today has been fulfilled in your ears, beloved people. The Messiah is coming. I see a heavenly event. I see a tremendous heavenly event. I see a planetary event. I see two moons coming close to the earth. One of them is going to be half or two thirds, and the other is going to be full. I see them coming to pass close to the earth. It will be a wonder. People will be shocked. So, beloved people, prepare the way the Messiah is coming. The Messiah, our Lord, is coming. Christ Jesus, the Messiah, our Lord, is coming. Prepare the way, blessed people. Those who are wise should turn away from sin. You can now cut your cost. You can cut out all the other things and say, let it be now. Let me now pursue the Lord. Let me now pursue righteousness. Let me now pursue holiness. Let me now pursue the kingdom of God, the glorious kingdom of Jehovah Yahweh, the kingdom of heaven, beloved people. I have seen the church enter eternity. Oh, how I cry that you be among the number that I saw climbing up the stairs in the sky after rapture, entering heaven, the door of heaven opening with a huge cloud, and then entering. How I wish and cry and desire that you tuned in will be among the number on that day. But the Lord has already used me in a very mighty way to shake the heavenly bodies this past night. And so there is now going to be a planetary event above the earth here where you will see two planets, two moons, two moons crossing, crossing above the earth. It will be a wonder, it will be a shock. Two moons, two moons. And there is a deeper part of the conversation that the Lord has not allowed me yet to unveil. That when he does, I'll come back to you faithfully as usual, as always. But prepare the way, beloved people, the Messiah is coming. So that to have a rim, so that about the Messiah is coming. Prepare the way. This is he about whom the Bible wrote. That I'll send you the dreadful prophet Elijah before the great and fearful day of the Lord come. Beloved people, this scripture has been fulfilled in your ears today. The Messiah is coming. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Be righteous. Change your ways. Return to the ways of the Lord. Return to the old gospel, the gospel of the cross and the blood. May the Lord bless you. To the to the to shalom, to the Averim, Baruch Hashem, to the. Blessed people, like I said, uh, there is going to be a planetary event up above the earth here. And this is the most important time, the most exciting time to be born again. This is the time at which the Lord is now affirming that, yes, indeed, the religion of the cross, the religion of the blood of Jesus is the only true religion that will give hope to people beyond the graves, beyond the tomb. And that's why this is the most important time at which to be born again. If anyone is not born again, this is the hour to simply kneel down and receive Jesus. Because the gain are so huge, they are so obvious, they are very substantive. Because we are talking about the eternity with God Almighty in heaven, and the contrast to that is hell. And so for the Lord to come out with maximum power like this, to execute power and to demonstrate power, the power of the religion of the cross. For the Lord to come through and establish that this is the
the one and only true religion. That is such a powerful navigator for all people, born again or not. Those born again, that's a greater reason to be zealous, to hold on to salvation generously, to keep it a holy salvation, to keep it a righteous salvation. And for those not yet born again, this is now the moment to stop the debate, to stop the wandering and wavering between two positions and now to worship Christ Jesus and Jehovah his Father, the one and only Redeemer of all men, and to embrace the Holy Spirit and see eternity. It's such a beautiful time because there is a live conversation between God seated on his throne in heaven, the throne room of God, and the earth, the church of Christ. It's a live conversation. It's an ongoing conversation throughout preparing, refining, and polishing the church. And bringing to greater resolve the hearts of men to believe in Jesus and to worship Jehovah through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So, there is a planetary event coming up above the earth here. There are two moons that will show up here. It will be a wonder. And I want to raise a little bit more now. So, in that conversation, the Lord actually raises me up above the earth because when the moons are passing, I see them lower. When they are passing close the earth, I'm seeing them from an upper position as they pass close to the earth. What an awesome time to be born again, beloved people. To be a Christian, a Christ follower. To reject sin and be resolute about righteousness and holiness without which nobody will see the Lord. So may the Lord bless you to that. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom to the Arabah. Amen.